So, you want to make a cool little text ring. Well, first things first, you got to go to K Jewelers and buy a ring and then propose to the, to the text. Hey guys, welcome back to by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.8 EV once again, taking a look at some uh, some text ring stuff. My man Raven asked me about uh, this specific design, and I said this would be super easy to bang around the park. We got a lot of stuff to do, so we're gonna get started right now. I'm gonna hit delete the default default to default default to delete default cube. Hit Shift A, and we're gonna add in a mesh circle. And I'm gonna go ahead, and we're gonna bump up the ratio, the ratio, the resolution of this a little bit by hitting this little add circle down here, and changing the vertices from 32 to 64. Now, hit enter on that, and we can go ahead and um, change this fill type from nothing to ingon to give it an actual face that we can work with. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead, and actually, no, we're not gonna do that. I'm sorry, we're not gonna do that at all. We're gonna go ahead and, eh, you know what we'll do instead. We'll take this circle and then we'll 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 we'll, we'll build on it uh, in, in a second here. So what I want to do is we'll leave it like this with the end gun. We'll leave it just like that. I'm gonna hit RX 90 on my numpad and hit enter. Now we have that uh, rotated 90 degrees. Then hit zero to go into the camera's view. Select the camera. Hit Alt G and Alt R to clear the rotation and location. Then hit Alt R Z and then 90 on our numpad. Hit enter to confirm that. Hit G and double tap Z to move and pull the camera backwards, just like that. Now, I want our circle to be maybe about that big, maybe a little bit bigger, um, something like that. All right, cool. Now, so I'm going to change up uh, a little bit of stuff here down in the timeline. I'm going to change our start frame to zero and our end frame to approximately 200 for now. We'll probably change that later, but um, all right, cool. So first thing I want to do is go to the main scene tab over here and change the frame rate from 24 to 60. So now we can start animating things. I'm going to hit I, scaling, and then go to maybe frame 10, hit I, scaling, and then go back to frame zero and, and hit S, zero, right there, then hit left click, and uh, hit I, scaling. Now we have a scaling keyframe that's zero, and then on frame 10, it scales all the way up to 10, which is this, looks really super cool. Now, um, this is gonna just zoom up like that, and then I kinda want to go down on 100, maybe not 100, and we'll do 160. So, we'll do something like, yeah, we'll do something like, uh, we might as well just do all the way on 200. So right here, I'm going to grab this uh, second keyframe, hit Shift D to duplicate this, move it to 190, then grab the zero keyframe, and then hit Shift D and put that on 200. Now, sweet. So that goes back down on frame 200 until it's nothing, and then it will just loop back around and, and pop right back on up. Now, I don't want this circle to be solid. I want to be able to see through it. So right now, if you can see that we, we can... Oh, well, if I give it a material, just real quick, just put a material on it, hit that little button right there, make this base color. Um, actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to make this an emission shader. Emission, just hit emission right there. And then we're going to change the color to, we'll leave it on white. I'm going to go to my main tab here, go down to color management and change this from filmic to standard. There we go. My world tab as well. World tab, we're going to change this color to solid black. There we go. Now, with this, uh, with this white circle, I want to carve a section in the middle of it out. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So, um, I want to be able to see through this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Film here and check Transparent. Now, everything uh, in the background is transparent and all this stuff is transparent back here, which is nice. So, you can put this in any video editor or whatever and just have the actual clip show in uh, behind this actual thing we're making right now. So... Super cool stuff. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to hit Shift A. And we're going to add in the plane. Now, this is going to be super weird for a second, but let me just share it with you real quick. RX 90 on our numpad, and then uh, Enter to confirm that. I'm going to hit G Y to move this up above the white circle. Now, hit Tab to go into Edit Mode, and then go to to Loop Cut right here. And we're going to loop cut this once right there in the middle, and then once on in uh, sideways as well, like that. So you could have just subdivided that, but I like doing the loop cuts because why not? So I'm going to grab every single vertice like a, like this, like a U. I'm going to grab every single one except for these two. So I don't want to grab this one or this one. I don't want to grab those. I'm going to hit this one, hold down shift, and select every other vertice here, right? Then I'm going to hit delete vertices. Now you can see what we have here is just those two last vertices we did not delete. Those are going to help us out in a second here. I'm going to hit shift. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to hit tab to go back out of edit mode. I'm going to go to the uh, modifiers tab and add a modifier of screw. Where is it at? Screw. Right there. So now you can see this is all screwed up. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, comedian. All right, we're going to go ahead and bump the steps up to 64 because it's super choppy, as you can see. Now it matches the resolution of our actual uh, circle. I'm going to go ahead and because I don't want this to cover up the entire white circle behind it, I'm going to hit tab and I'm going to grab this top verse only and hit G Z to move it down. Now you can see um, we can see some of that white back there. Now I want to um, I want to make it about maybe that big. Looks pretty good to me. Make it about that big. Cool. Hit tab to go back out of edit mode. Now we can go ahead and animate this super coolly by oops, what we need to do is I right, right, there we go. Cool. Now the uh, what we need to do now is I want to make this uh, scale up as well. Uh, or, or actually, we're not going to do that. We're going to have it rotate around. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to change my angle to zero. And now you can see you can't see it at all. So about on frame uh, the, the 30, I'm going to hit uh, hover my cursor over top of angle and hit I. Now that inserted a zero keyframe. I'm going to go to frame, we'll do just do 40. And then I'll change our angle to 350, right? Which is almost all the way. And then hit enter, uh, hit I, sorry, hover my cursor on top of that. Then on frame 70, 30 keyframes away, I'm going to go and make sure this says uh, 360. There we go. Now it's fully back or all the way around. I'm going to hover my cursor, hit I on your keyboard to insert a keyframe. Now, this is what it does. So you can see that's extremely fast. So I'm going to grab the, these last two keyframes on 40 and 70, hit G to move 40 to maybe 60 and then 90 to 100. Now you can see zoom up comes all the way around and slows, which is very nice. Um, I think the white also is too fast. So I'm going to move this from 10 to 20 and then I'm going to move this from 90 to 80. There we go. So now you can see comes up, zooms out all the way around and comes back down. Now we need to, of course, um, make sure this goes back down. At, before it you know leaves and goes all the way down. So what I'm going to do is on 60, I'm going to duplicate that until maybe 140. Yep. And then on 30, I'm going to go to hit Shift D and duplicate this until we go all the way to 170. Now 350. But since this is going to do that weird rotation thing again, because it's going to go all the way to one negative 350, we need to go ahead and make sure this is instant. So right now it's solid black, so you can't see anything. So on frame 139, I'm going to make sure this says uh, 360 and then hit enter, then hit I. Now what's going to happen is, as you can see, um, it, this is going to stop all, well, actually, wait, I'm sorry, no, not on 130, on this one over here. So hit G and then move this as close to, um, 100 as you can. So what we've done now is we've literally flipped this without them even knowing, if you know what I mean. So right now this is on 350, negative 350. We didn't want to put this second keyframe we just made right here on negative 360. So what this is going to do is it's going to instantly pop. So you can't see anything happening here, but what it's done is it's taken the 360 and completely flipped it instantly. So we didn't have to see it go around like six times here. So now what it does is this exactly how it's supposed to. Then we'll go ahead and move 30 more frames to 170 and then make sure this says zero hit enter. And now we are all ready to go. You can see when we play this, it now it zooms up, goes all the way clockwise, counterclockwise, and then goes back down. Super, super cool stuff. Now, this needs to be, of course, fixed up still because we have a lot of stuff to do. We can't see this to see through this at all. So how we fix that is we go to the material tab, hit new, and then change this from principal BSDF to hold out. And now you can see this is completely transparent back here. And now the, uh, the circle has just a little tiny wireframe looking thing going on. Super, super cool stuff. Now, comes up and it's full. Now it's just a little tiny circle and it looks really cool. I really enjoy this quite a bit. Now I do want to have a little bit more pausing in between these um, keyframes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit B to box select off all, all three of these and then um, move our in frame to 300 instead of 200 and then hit G to move these keyframes about maybe there. And then I have to of course grab our keyframes from the white circle as well and move these all the way back to the final uh, keys, which is all the way to 300, hit G until they're right there. All right, cool. So now we have a bunch more space in the middle here. You can add text in between here, just like I'm, oh, just like I'm going to do. See, we didn't duplicate that again. So we're going to hit Shift D to duplicate that, put it right there. And now there we go. But I will see you ladies and gentlemen in the next tutorial. But until then, bye-bye.